The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grand Pappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mr. McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Reed McCoys. Well, here's the young McMichaels. Hi, Pepino. You got your heart at work, eh? That's right. <laughs> Hello, George. Hi, Amos. Gee, that looks rightly nice, Pepino. Gracias, Senor Alva. But you don't want to paint it white with green trimmings. You want to paint it green with white trimmings. I do? Why, sure. Take that green paint, put a little turpentine, and thin it down. Take the white paint, put a little oil in, thick it up, and get yourself a bigger brush. <laughs> right away, Senor Yeah, and say, Pepino, while you're at it, uh, you just paint a sign so those folks know it's wet paint, huh? Well, Senor Grandpa, the man from the store said this new paint dies right away. Pepino, paint a wet paint sign. <laughs> Where you kids go? Down to the music store. We're going to listen to some new records. Oh, you can't have any fun doing that. Why don't you go along with Pepino and help him paint that wet paint sign? Go on now, you're missing, but, a, gee, go on, you're missing a lot of enjoyment. <laughs> Hi, George. Hello. Where are you going to chicken feed, Luke? At the hen house. You better put it in the barn, Shin. Well, Grandpa, it's for the chickens. Well, I know where the chicken feed goes. But Grandpa. Hey, go on, son, now. Put it in the barn, a good fella. <laughs> hey, Mr. McCoy, you are the bossiest human being I ever seen. Oh, I ain't bossy. It's my fault because people come to me for their decisions. They ain't coming to you. You're stopping them in the tracks and telling them. Why, you're acting just like one of them dictators. Why, that's a lie. This family's a democracy. Everybody does exactly as they want to do. Oh, Grandpa, uh, would you... Oh, hi, George. Right, would you good. like something special with the pot roast tonight? I uh, forget the pot roast, Kate. Let's have ham hocks, huh? Uh, but Grandpa already got the pot roast out. But you can put it back. Yeah, we can have it another day. <laughs> Grandpa. Uh, Kate, it's just like I was saying, George, now. This family is just like a democracy. Yeah, sure, with King Amos telling everybody what to do. Well, I'm only exercising my rights to the head of the family. Every family's going to have a head to it, just like a ship's going to have a captain. Yeah, well, let me tell you something, Captain. One of these days, that crew of yours is going to mutiny. <laughs> Can't please or blame me. Well, George McMichael, when I need you to give me advice about running my family, the chickens will be laying square eggs and zippers on them. <laughs> The only thing you got backing up that big mouth of yours is an empty head. You should never come over here to try and do you a favor. A favor? Well, Luke was telling me you need more water in the farm, that you're planning to dig a well. So? So I know a fella. And for $25, he'll come over here and tell you where to look for water. $25? This fella's a geologist. A man's religion don't give him no right to go around cheating. <laughs> A geologist is a man who's gone to school to study the ground and what's under it. Well, I'll be under the ground before he gets any of my money. <laughs> I ain't gonna pay for something I can get for nothing. Yeah, and how are you gonna find water for nothing? The McCoy way. The only sensible way. You call that the sensible way to find water? With a divining rod? If there's a drop of water around, the stick will find it. Oh, Amos, you really believe you can locate water with that piece of wood? Boy, this has been in the family nigh on to a hundred years. I never heard of a McCoy dying of thirst. <laughs> <laughs> God digging, she's right there. Well, Grandpa, that looks awful rocky. You sure there's water here? Are you questioning the stick? Yeah, I wouldn't stand downhill from the digging, George. You're allowed to get carried away by the water. Yeah, there ain't no water there. Well, I hope your insurance covers you again drowning. Go ahead, start digging, boys. Probably only have to go a couple inches. <laughs> Oh, Grandpa, this is the longest couple of inches I ever done. Oh, stop blabbing and keep digging. I never thought there was so much dirt in the ground. Oh, keep digging. The water's so close now I can practically smell it. Well, you don't seem to be no more dirt down here. You hit water? No. Just rocks. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, can't we dig somewhere else? The stick says this is where the water is, and this is where we're digging. 
Senor Grandpa, I think I am too short for this type of work. Oh, stop worrying. Soon as you hit one, it'll shoot you right at the top. Well, I'm going to stand around and get sunstroke watching you make a big fool out of yourself. When you want the name of that geologist, you know where to come. Uh, Grandpa, maybe George is right. Maybe we ought to call in that geologist fella. He's head of the house. I'm telling you, this is where the water is and this is where we're digging. Well, I guess we'll just have to do what Grandpa says. Just keep digging. Okay. Just not fair. Even when you die, they don't make you go down more than six feet. <laughs> I swear, sugar babe, we must have dug through ten solid feet of rock. Well, we broke two shovels and a pick. <laughs> and keep rubbing, will you? Your shoulder still hurt, honey? No. I just like you doing it. <laughs> Luke, if you knew there wasn't any water down there, why did you keep digging? Because oh, Grandpa said so. Oh, Luke, if Grandpa told you to jump off the barn, would you do it? Well, of course not. Not unless he had a good reason. Luke, sometimes you make me so mad, I... Well, what can I do? I'll tell you what you can do. Tomorrow, when Grandpa goes into town to buy them new shovels, you get that geologist fella out here, and he'll tell us where we can find the water, and that's where you're going to dig. Well, now, I can't do that. You've got to find mine, Luke. I have? Except nobody ever lets you use it. They just keep telling you what to do. I think you're just like a wheelbarrow. You can carry a big load, but everybody just pushes you around. Now, just a minute now. There ain't nobody pushing me around, and I ain't nobody's wheelbarrow. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, when Grandpa goes into town, I I'm going to get that geologist out here, and he's going to show us where that water is, and right there is where we're going to dig. Why, Luke, I think that's a wonderful idea you just had. <laughs> Keep rubbing, will you, sugar baby? Uh, from all scientific indications, I would say that there is no water to be found down there. There, you see? You convinced Luke. Now you got the word of a geologist. Well, I just wanted to give Grandpa and his divining rod a fair chance. Oh, it's a good thing you called me in. You see, you could have gone down 10,000 feet without striking any water. 10,000 feet? Woo, we'd have run the state clean out of shovels. Now, uh, let's uh, see where there is some water in the town. Boy, I think your best chance of finding water would be to drill right about... Here. <laughs> you see? You see, Luke? Grandpa was a far piece off with that divining rod. <laughs> Luke! Mr. McGinnis from the hardware store called. He said Grandpa just left for home with a new shovel. Oh, uh, Mr. Beecham, I uh, think you better leave now. Uh, you shouldn't be here when Grandpa comes home. Oh, well, I'm sorry that I can't meet your grandfather. Uh, According to Mr. McMichael, he's quite uh, colorful. Yeah, well, not half so colorful as his language if he was to find you here. <laughs> In that case, then, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Senor Luke, how are you going to get Grandpa to let you dig here? You know how stubborn he is. Oh, Pepino, don't you worry about Grandpa. Luke will take care of him. Yeah, Pepino, no matter how thick-headed a McCoy is, you can always find another McCoy that's even thicker-headed. <laughs> I thought it'd be a lot easier for Katie. Maybe we could find water somewhere that's just a little closer to the house. <laughs> it, it'd be easier for everybody, Grandpa. See, as big as this farm is, I think it's getting kind of crowded around here. These whole 20 acres, I don't see no reason why we all should stand on my feet. <laughs> oh, Grandpa? How about you trying right there by that round rock? Okay. <laughs> 
Why, this is absolute amazing. It is? Why, sure. This is the one spot in this whole farm that absolutely ain't got no water. Frank, are, are you sure? Well, the stick don't lie. Frank, well, maybe we ought to dig here just to make sure. I am sure there ain't no water here. But there is. There ain't. Water's gotta be. Why? Because the geologist told us there was. Geologist? <laughs> Well, Grandpa, you see, it wasn't exactly that. This fella come by and... Luke, there's no sense hiding it. Grandpa's got to know. A geologist came here with a whole lot of scientific instruments. Yeah, and Grandpa, he said that there wasn't no water up there where we've been digging, but there's plenty of it right down there. So you put one over on your Grandpa. Sneaked him in here whilst I was in town. Now, Grandpa... And after that... I told you not to. Grandpa, Luke only done what he thought was best. Done what he thought was best, but after I told him not to. Well, you just wasted $25, because we're going to keep digging back there. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I think we ought to dig right here. Luke, there's only one head to every house, and that's me. And we're digging back there. Grandpa, I'm digging here. Grandpappy McCoy, I hope you and the rest of the kin folks is looking down in West Virginia right now. Because I wouldn't want you to see the terrible thing that's happening here in California. <laughs> Grandpa, this is your chair. No, it ain't. That's where the head of the house sits. Go on, sit yourself down. Well, I ain't the head of the house. Son, when you called in that geologist, you elected yourself. But, Grandpa, I was naming to. Well, a family can't have two leaders. It's like a dog with two tails. He just wag himself to death. <laughs> oh, you're welcome to the job. You'll find it ain't easy sleeping nights. Knowing you're in charge of such a helpless bunch. <laughs> There's one more thing. Yeah, I'm in charge of this now. These are all the family savings. $73.62. Took quite a while to come by all this money. So don't let all this power go to your head. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it's off on my shoulders. You get all the worries now. Grandpa! You're sitting in the wrong chair. You're supposed to be sitting here. Not no more. That's where the head of the house sits, which I ain't, and he is. Oh, Grandpa. Go on, sit yourself down. Go ahead. Well, ain't you going to say grace? Well, Grandpa, I'd rather you did. Oh, no. That's your job now. Lord... Bless this food and us that eats it. Amen. Hi, Edge. Oh, hi, George. Buenos dias. Hello. Gino. Señor Grandpa, what color do you want me to paint the hen house? You better ask Luke, Pepina. Do anything he says. <laughs> Grandpa, is it okay if I take 20 cents from the cookie jar to buy a movie magazine? Well, I don't know, Hash. You better ask Luke. <laughs> hey, how you been? Good. Oh, Grandpa. What would you like me to fix for lunch? Anything Luke likes, all right to me, Kate. <laughs> hey, Amos, you better let me help you inside. I don't know what you cost, but it might be contagious. You're sick. <laughs> I ain't sick. You gotta be sick. You're too easy to get along with. <laughs> George. Hello? Uh, Grandpa, I just talked to Mr. Beecham on the phone, and he thought we might save a lot of time if we was to rent some drilling equipment. It'll cost $15 a day. What do you think? Well, I don't know, Luke. You'll have to decide for yourself. You run the place, you know. <laughs> I'm just a happy-go-lucky hired hand. <laughs> Sit down, Amos. Sit down. <laughs> I just can't figure you out. After Luke called me about that geologist, I thought that talking to you would be like bedding down with a porcupine. <laughs> George, you know you've done me a real favor. Luke's going to learn a lesson he ain't never going to forget. What you mean? Well, he's going to find out that being the head of the McCoys ain't all glory. Leave him spend $15 a day drilling. When he hits the bottom of that hole in the bottom of the cookie jar at the same time and they both come up empty, then he'll be coming begging for me to take over again. Amos, I got news for you. When they drill, they'll find water. 
Now, George, if you're going to sit around here making them discouraging remarks, you can just get. Because there ain't no water there. You know everything, don't you? Nobody knows it. Ever. Uh, a pad machine. <laughs> we give him for advice, that's $70. Oh, Luke, I, I, I'm sure we'll come up with water. What bothers me most is Grandpa. He don't say nothing. He just stands there smiling. <laughs> I guess I made a bad decision. Yeah. Yeah, bit off more than you can chew, didn't you? Spent all the family savings just to find out something I already done told you. <laughs> there ain't no water here, there never will be water here, and you can dig from now till doomsday and you won't find water. Look, Grandpa. But you had to take the word of a stranger, didn't you? Grandpa, it's water! feelings have been hurt awful bad. Well, why should he feel bad? Just because we found some water. Well, because some things he believed in turned out to be wrong. And that's mighty important. Because when you get to be older, that's about all you got left is what you believe in. Well, Grandpa, where you been? We've been waiting on you. Well, it's rightly nice here, but I don't feel much like eating. Oh, come on, Grandpa. We're having hot jowls, and I bought a pitcher of water from the new well. <laughs> Awful. No need to apologize. If you depended on me for water, you'd probably be drinking rocks. Oh, now, Grandpa, anybody can make a mistake. Go on, sit down. No, look, that chair really belongs to you now, and I want everyone to hear me say so. I figured you'd fall flat in your face, and I'd have to pull you up by your britches, but your britches don't need pulling up. You did right well, son. You deserve to be head of the house. <laughs> and this belongs to you now. I know you don't care much for it, but you can burn it or throw it away or do what you like with it. It goes with being the head of the house. Senor Luke, come quick. Topino, what's wrong? It's the well. Mr. Biju says the water has stopped coming out. <laughs> It uh, 
seems that unfortunately all we hit was a shallow pool of water. You mean there ain't no more water going to come up? I'm afraid not. Seventy dollars just to wet our feet. Well, I, I guess I was wrong, Mr. McCoy, but I... I had to rely on my instruments. Amos, I'm warning you. You better do something about that water. What water? Back up there where you dug that hole. It's gushing all over my land. If it ruins my crops, I'll sue you. You hear that? There's water up there. Come on, everybody. You must have hit an artesian well under those rocks. Well, uh, Mr. McCoy, how does it uh, feel to be right? Oh, kind of natural. Yes, kind of natural. <laughs> and you thought that stick didn't know water from a hole in the ground. <laughs> well, that ought to learn you all. Now, take that back. I'm sorry I spat it off like that, because, <laughs> well... When it looked like I was wrong, you could have crowed over me, but you didn't, and that sort of learned me a lesson. I ain't never going to rub it in. No, sir, never. <laughs>